Good almost morning guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I say almost morning guys because it is 12.30 right now um, and it is almost morning guys. I started the vlog pretty early for today. It's still sunny out. Even when I start the vlog though and it's like 4 or 5 o'clock it's dark out so it really doesn't matter. Come on Charlie. Okay, gotta get all the dogs out of here guys. Oh my goodness, we went shopping today guys finished up the last of our grocery shopping we are under budget this week which was awesome we spent like under 150 dollars for groceries this week um and in making like all the stuff and we even got like extra like christmas treats and stuff like that um not like treats but like i got candies like york peppermint candies and rollos and hershey's kisses um and I think that might have been it. Um, we have the, I bought a little bit ago, the, um, what's it called? I showed you guys yesterday, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I bought two bags by accident. And then since I had those, I was like, well, then I'll just get the other candy. Plus two, I think I have an extra bag of M&Ms. So I didn't need any of those. But guys, this is pretty much what we got. It's most of the stuff here. We also have laundry on the table because I'm in the middle of doing laundry. Got Coke, we got, you know, all that stuff, I think. This doesn't seem like all of it. Um, but then we also, so this morning we went to Valley Produce, then we went to Caputo's, then we ran to Target, and then we ran to Walmart, and then we had to finish up a couple last minute Christmas shopping things. Then we ran to Menards, and we had to get puppy food, and one other Christmas present, <laughs> and then we ended up going to Aldi. And we are actually, surprisingly, in and out pretty quickly. Like Walmart, they didn't have anybody in the self-checkout lane. We only got like two things, I think, so it was like super fast. Um, it literally took us maybe about like, and they were both in the same section too. It took them maybe about like five, ten minutes at most, like in Walmart today. And Target took a little bit longer because we were browsing just a tad bit, but we did find actually a couple good deals too, like on things that we were planning on buying anyway, and then found out some stuff was on sale. So that was also pretty good, but yeah guys the one most expensive stinking thing that i bought this week at aldi was this italian meatballs i got two packages they were like 4.29 each which has to be the most expensive thing i think i've ever bought at aldi ever like they have and i bought at caputo's or maybe it was valley produce a couple times like two bag size of this for like five 4.99 or something like that or maybe 5.99 they're so stinging expensive, honestly. And I could only find, they had Italian style meatballs and they also had turkey style meatballs. I couldn't find just like the regular original meatballs anywhere. And so I was like, I wonder if they don't carry them or if like they just have these cause it was like a special cause they were in their ad, but I don't know, it was so expensive. Like seriously, it has to be the most expensive thing I bought at all the like, probably in the past year, like that I expect to be a lot cheaper than it is. Like I think it used to be like $2.99 or like, this size bag, which, I mean, it's a decent size bag. What is it? Two pounds? Um, maybe we really won't even need that many. We might only need one bag. Maybe that was why. <laughs> um, but they're smaller bags. Like, you still be a little bit of money. And they used to have two different sizes, and they stopped doing that. But at Caputo's, they had cheese ravioli, a full, or no, I think it's 12 ounces. A little bit less than a pound. 99 cents. There was a limit of three. So I picked three bags, or I'm sorry, a limit of five. I picked three bags up. I'm going to get, I, I think I'm going to use three for tomorrow for like we do like appetizers normally on christmas day um like we do breakfast and then we'll kind of just do like an appetizer thing that kind of lasts throughout the whole day so that's what i was thinking about doing um for like doing ravioli i showed you guys in yesterday's vlog ravioli italian style meatballs and leave them in the crock pot but separate because i can eat the ravioli and i can't eat the meatballs but like having them separated in two different crock pots i'm going to dirty um three of our four crock pots tomorrow and I'm gonna have to use one of them twice <laughs> so um yeah because I'm gonna do hot chocolate I'm gonna do the meatballs I'm going to do the ravioli and I'm also going to do a breakfast french toast but the breakfast french toast I use the the liners anyway for the crock pot because it's a little messy anyway so then there won't really be anything in there and I can just real quick wipe it out and then reuse it later for the ravioli um, or for the Italian meatballs, whatever I end up doing. But for the Italian meatballs, we're going to do them just plain and then also um, as like sandwich rolls. I got sandwich rolls and I got uh, mozzarella cheese. I think that's pretty much it. Like, and we also got the uh, spaghetti sauce. So lots of great deals this week. I think we spent 20 
$21 or $22 of Valley Produce. They were like $25 or something like that at Caputo's um, right around there. And then at Aldi, we spent like right under, I think we spent $90 at Aldi. We also had to get 20, 20 something dollars worth of dog food. Um, or no, it was only, I think we spent $20 plus the present, but the dog food was only $12, I think for the puppies. Um, because they are out of puppy food. So I couldn't even feed them breakfast this morning, which was how out we were. Um, plus I got chips too for tomorrow, but I was thinking like since today and tomorrow, I don't really think anybody has to go anywhere else. Um, I was thinking like today and tomorrow can kind of be like an all day or so somewhat of an all day kind of like, um, what's it called? Like snack kind of thing and put out some of the snacks that we were going to do as well um and like the christmas treats because like normally the day and two days before christmas a lot of times is the days we spend wrapping presents like all day everybody like goes to their separate corners of the house and just wraps presents can we just take a minute though to say how cute this stinking dog is he's so long that he can't sit like a normal dog so he has to sit like on his hip like sideways you guys see what i mean look at how he's sitting He's like sitting like sideways. Like his legs are like sticking. Look at how Bravo's sitting. Like on his butt. Charlie's like sitting on his like hip. Because you're so long. You don't fit. Your front legs are too short that they wouldn't reach the ground if you tried to sit on your bum. <laughs> you're so cute, Charlie. I'm going to take a shower and head to bed. It's a little bit later. I got my little Charlie buddy up here. And I'm going to take a shower and head to bed because... We've got Christmas Eve festivities tomorrow, guys. And I'm just a little frustrated with myself only because I don't know if I want to, like, break everything up tomorrow or, like, how much I want to do. Well, we're getting dinner tomorrow from Boston Market because, like, last year I made Boston Market, but that was a whole headache. I mean, it was, like, it was all tasty, and but it just was, like, kind of a headache to do. And so this year I was like, well, you know what? I'll just do like Christmas Day kind of stuff. But Christmas Eve, let's just go ahead and get Boston Market. Because we've done it for like, I don't even know how many years. But the thing is, they don't stinking let you pre-order online for Boston Market. Like they didn't this year. I don't know if they did last year because like I said, we made it at home. But they won't this year. And, um they are like oh well we're still open but it's on a first come first serve basis so like if we get there and they have what we want to order then they'll serve it to us but you can't pre-order so like we can't order like our meatloaf like we i think my mom was like gonna get a meatloaf meal family meal or something like that and like the side dishes and stuff and maybe she was getting two meatloaf meals or something like that but they won't let us just pre-order that. They're like, you know, no, we don't have delivery because my mom tried to do it online for like for pickup and they wouldn't let her do it on Christmas Eve. So my dad's gonna have, gonna try and go to Boston Market and try and pick up um, dinner for tomorrow. And if not, I don't know what we're doing for Christmas Eve dinner, guys. Um, but I have Christmas Day stuff all taken care of, the breakfast and then, you know, we do, like I told you guys, appetizers, all that stuff. So I took care of all the dishes, or I'm sorry, the groceries. I put all that stuff away. I also did a load of dishes today, and I also, I think I did one or two loads of laundry or something like that. So that was good, but yeah, I still have got other things I have to get done. My dad spent like most of the day today wrapping presents, and um, then to, after we went to the grocery stores and did all that, then Jack and my mom ran out. I'm not sure where they went. I think we went to like the dollar store, maybe to Walmart or something. And they went and got last minute Christmas presents and Jack didn't get a gift for my dad because he went shopping with my dad. And so he went with my mom later to go and get those. So yeah, guys, we got our Christmas stuff. Well, I don't even know. Matthew has to get something for his girlfriend, but I think he's going and getting it after Christmas because he's not going to see her until like the day after, two days after Christmas. So um, that's when he was planning on going and getting it. And then um, my dad, though, was like, oh, I need to go and get something for Matthew. So he, like, I don't know. I think he has to go and get something for Matthew. So my dad wants to go shopping tomorrow, which I was like, honestly. I thought he had kind of wrapped up everything today with that final last minute, like, Walmart Target real quick trip that we took. And um, even to, to 
um, Menards and he got a gift there too so I thought like that kind of finished everything up and he was like oh no we're not <laughs> like he didn't I don't know he doesn't have enough presents for Matthew but he's like well there's still some that are coming but like that I don't even know because normally if we don't do it like present based like oh you get 10 presents and you get 10 presents or something like that it's normally like more money based presents like if somebody wants something that's like uh, I don't know a hundred dollars or whatever you're gonna get less presents the person that wants just like a couple gifts that are all like twenty dollars or whatever and so um but my dad was like freaking out he like doesn't think he has enough presents for Matthew so he wants to run out to the grocery or out to the grocery store head <laughs> to the store tomorrow and go pick something up for Matthew which I was like you seriously want to go on Christmas Eve, which is going to be crazy. He's like, well, I have to go out to go get the food anyway. And I was like, okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know what in the heck we're going to do if we don't end up going to, if we don't get Boston Market. Um, but yeah, we might get Chinese food just because we do that on like holidays because they're always open. <laughs> we did that on Easter one year, I think. Um, actually I think we've done it at Easter a couple years um and two it's weird because Chinese food is normally like our tradition um when we color Easter eggs like normally we'll do it like the Saturday or like a day or two before Easter and it's like our tradition to go and get Chinese food all the time like on Easter so that might be like one of the few places that's open because I can't think of any other like not fine dining I mean like Chinese food still take out and like at the Boston market isn't take out but it's like more of like a home cook hearty kind of meal I guess than like just getting like McDonald's because <laughs> Who wants McDonald's on Christmas Eve? Um, so yeah, and I was like, I don't even have like a backup plan. Well, okay, I do have a slight backup plan. I could probably do one package of the meatballs, and I could probably do um, two packages of the ravioli. I wanted to save the ravioli to use, because I bought five bags, we'll probably only use two or three tomorrow. I wanted to use the extra ones for a different day to make a dinner. But since I just bought a bunch of them because they were on sale and it was a limit of five anyway. So, um, but if like worst comes to worst and we don't have food for dinner tomorrow, I could do like one bag of meatballs and ravioli, but then we'd have the same thing tomorrow, which kind of stink, but I mean, I guess it's better than not eating a Christmas Eve dinner. So fingers crossed guys. And let's, let's send up prayers that you know, we have Christmas Eve dinner tomorrow. But I'm going to take a shower and head to bed. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your Sinjini faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.